Let's talk about Black Rob. As you guys know, Black Rob, he suffered a, a stroke, I believe, in 2015. Not sure exactly when. He's been in the hospital, and people have been asking him questions, trying to get some clout. The guy is literally on his deathbed, and you're asking him about DMX and all this shit. Let me play this footage real quick. Shut up, man. What's going on? I just I don't know what the pain is. The pain, the pain is crazy, man. It's helping me out, though, man. It's making me realize I got a lot to I got a lot to go, man. A lot to go on, man. Oh, man. How you feel about X? I mean, I feel, I feel everything about X, man. X world love, man, positive. X is big, big love, big love to X, man. It's all, man. All right. This guy, Black Rob, clearly wants to, he wants to take a nap. He doesn't really even want to do the interview. And so that's what's really upsetting me, that this dude that's filming him sees that he's not in a mood. He's literally damn near about to sleep. And you're asking him all these questions. The guy's sick. What's wrong with these people? No sympathy. Let's take a look at this clip. Both resigned amid growing outrage over the death of Dante Wright. Kim Potter, with 26 years on the force, saying it was in the best interest of the community for her to resign immediately. I'm hoping that this will help uh, bring some calm to, uh, to the community. Prosecutors say they're likely to decide whether to file criminal charges as soon as tomorrow. It follows a second night of confrontation. Hundreds of protesters face to face with police outside their fortified headquarters. We need the police to stand down. As many as 40 arrests most violating curfew. Stores in a nearby strip mall looted. Eventually, police using tear gas and rubber bullets clear the area after, they say, coming under attack. Say his name! Dante Wright! For Dante Wright's family, another day of grief in solidarity with relatives of George Floyd. I never imagined this is what was going to happen. I just thought maybe he was being arrested. Wright's family demanding justice, rejecting the police statement, calling the incident an accident, with the officer mistakenly using her firearm instead of a taser. Guns and tasers look and feel differently. That's what I've been saying. All right, I don't want to play any more of that clip. Um, obviously, the guy did not deserve to die, although I don't advocate anyone running away from the police. Um, these police officers need to be trained better. I mean, this female clearly doesn't know the difference between a taser and a Glock 17. They look differently. They feel different, right? They look and feel completely different. So how do you make this mistake? When it comes to police, because I know you were posting that one video of that female police officer that the shot that kid man i'm kim telling porter. you you guys kim. got a kid porter kim kim porter kim, yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys got to be careful with police man cuz i'm telling you they're on edge and and uh especially in certain areas especially a quota higher female cop uh most cops usually draw their taser on their non firing gun so if you're a right handed shooter you usually carry it on your left hand so it's a deliberate to switch between less than lethal or taser and a pistol but man half the time i know it sounds show your paper sir but if you just have your driver's license and insurance already at hand it just it just de-escalates the whole thing because once you start becoming a no person they can ruin your day and there's no repercussions well if you look at the footage they actually had him somewhat in handcuffs so they were about to put a hand oh, so him. there was yeah and then and then somehow he wiggled out of it jumped in the driver's seat and sped off what now, area that, of america was this in i believe minnesota minnesota, minnesota. is it is, is there stuff like that is there gangster stuff going down in minnesota or is it kind of a milk toast kind of vanilla town 
No, there's definitely gang violence, especially up north. They're close to Detroit, so. Yeah, yeah. It's no, just it, close to Michigan. I'm sorry, not. Detroit. As long as these cops get a pass shooting people, that's why I always say on my YouTube channel that order followers are the teeth to politicians. Unless we get to the order followers, nothing's going to change for us ever. I can tell you right now, she had no trigger discipline. She didn't rest her finger like that. She was freaked out, gripped her pistol, and it went off. I guarantee you that's what happened. That's no I mean, trigger discipline. All right, so my, my thing is, okay, let's say it, it is an accident, right? I still yeah. do think that 26 year on the force should play a role into whether, you know, we should just let her off the hook. You get what I mean? Well, well she I'm she – go ahead, Chris. Okay, I don't think she needs to be let off the hook, but this is this is what something somebody told me. You respond to the type of to the type of environment or training or experiences that you've had. So you can necessarily say, okay, yeah, she's been on the force 26 years, but uh, how many experience or how many situations has she been in like that where somebody's driving off or she's got to chase somebody? Like those are the things that really determine how um, you know things happen, like how the interaction happens. I'm not I'm not giving her a pass either. Because I don't think, I gosh, it's it's 2021. Technology is way too high for these cops to be shooting anybody accidentally. They could have let that young man drive off, went to his address, and picked him up. Like, there's no reason for the killing. But I agree, though. But I, I disagree with saying that 26 years equates to um, her experience level and not being able to have an accident like that. So I'm thinking perhaps... She wanted to prove herself, if you will, right? And it's like she's like, "Oh, let me grab this," and she wasn't even thinking. Pop. No, it's not more proving. You got to think in in those situations. A lot of times, even she could have done 20, 12 to twenty six years behind the desk and done some a, a little bit of field operations and never been able to handle it. But uh, f police officers, man, I'm telling you, they're just like they're just people. They make mistakes just like us. They're just wearing a silly uniform and a badge, and all that was is bad trigger discipline. And yeah. you can even hear her when she says after she shot him, she literally just says, I shot him. Yeah. Like, I don't think anybody who has an intent to shoot somebody is going to say, I shot him. Like, yeah. she knew she fucked up after that. But if you really look at any of those videos, once, once they shoot him, they don't say shit. You know? you know what's funny, Chris, is you notice how you see people getting shot by cops, but you never see cops getting folded by people? You'll never see exactly. that footage. Why no. is that? Honestly, it's to uphold that badge. Uh, here, here, I'm I'm in Texas. We're like next to New Mexico, and uh, me and my girl, we recently saw uh, a video of an officer literally go up and and do a patrol stop for tags, and then uh, a guy got out the side and gunned him down with uh, an AR, and then he got he did he died like he literally died. Yeah, I seen he that was, footage. They didn't yeah. see. They didn't show yeah, him didn't getting shot. Yep. No. Yep. No. Did, you didn't see it at all. Yeah, I think it's a psyche thing. And you know what? If, if police want to see reality, it needs to be posted out there, just like people getting shot by cops. Cops, They need to show cops getting tagged because it goes both ways.